Yo, welcome back to another episode of I Got My Pots. And that, the day we're going to do something very, 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 very plain and simple. I was going to make lamb chops, and I realized I already made lamb chops. So can't never go wrong with a, a nice old ribeye steak. Nice clean. A lot of people try to take the fat off. I want my fat. I need all my fat. There's a lot of things been growing, going on in the world. I've been noticing a lot of people are now admitting to have seen or heard of UFO sightings. Now, UFOs are an unidentif- unidentified flying object. Well, there's a lot of UFOs. But for you to be a reasonable human being, somebody that was born imperfect in an imperfect world, a God-fearing human being, and you don't believe that there's other creatures or other things that's going on in the world, I'm not here to convince you that it is. An old man once told me, don't believe nothing you hear, half of the things you see, because it's always something else. There's always another side to the story. And I go to think it back to my era, from my era to where I grew up, the different movies that was coming out, the different songs that were played on the radio. You get a kid something to do, give them back responsibility, and, and, and it makes the movies legendary, it makes the music legendary, it makes the teacher memorable. Like when I was in elementary, I remember middle school kids coming back to my classroom and telling my teacher, I we miss you and bringing their gifts and all that. They don't do that no more. They don't do that no more. When you wake up early in the morning on Christmas, there's no kids in the street playing in their in pajamas. Nobody does that no more. Everybody baby daddy is with their baby daddy or their baby daddy mama. Everybody's over here, the, the son's over there, the daughter's over there, the mama over there doing her thing. And her, her sorry ass nowhere to be found. There's a lot of things that's happening. First, rule number one, never, ever, ever have unprotected sex or be in a long relationship with a person that you can't get along with. A lot of y'all women have been sleeping with men that y'all not even attracted to, whether it's for fame, the money, the looks, or, or, to, be, or, or to be with the in crowd. Don't do that because when kids come, it plays a big role and a big toll in those kids' life. You have to have a baby daddy or a baby mama that you can relate to. Everybody's breaking up. A lot of things, a lot of things from my past is not the same no more. It, 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 it jars my memory. When I go to thinking like, okay, wait a minute. Dame Jazz and Jay-Z don't get along? That don't sound right. You know, you, you go to thinking about things like that. You go to think about what if Wilma would have left Fred? Would the Flintstones be the same? Yeah, if you go to think it like that, and what if, what if Richard Pryor played Bill Cosby on the Cosby show? That'd be different. Certain things you can't change. A lot of things you have to change. Get back to the tradition. Take all your kids' picture out your goddamn phone, go print them on the, on the, uh, on the hard drive, Take them down to the place, download the pictures, make photo albums so you and your girl could sit around the house and have more conversation than about another bitch business. Y'all have memories. Their memories are supposed to last forever. Y'all keep it long. I'll be right back. The bitch I got my pots. I got my pots. I'm Tamara, and this is another episode of Trick Daddies. Got my pots. This next artist deserves his flowers for not only putting people on with his catchphrases, dances, carrying social media with his crazy Instagram lives, where he isn't afraid to respond to or talk about anything, but for music that sets the streets ablaze these last few years. Putting on for the Zoes, but never letting the world forget he's really from Exit 36. With that being said, here are the top five highest selling Kodak Black albums of all time in the United States. Number five, Back For Everything. It was released on February 25th, 2022, and it went gold on July 11th, 2022. And the breakout track and my top diss track of all time is Super Gremlin. I heard a lot of people say they didn't know that this was a diss record. Well, it is. Towards his protege and former artist, Jack Boy. The beef is still ongoing. 
It has a mean ring to it and it is beautifully written for all the ops to hear. This album also features the song Usain Boo, rapping over E-Man's On and On, which seems to be a Florida classic because it has been remixed so many times, so I think it's only right that Kodak Black made his own version too, right? Number four, Heartbreak Kodak. It was released on February 14th, 2018, and it went gold on May 20th, 2022. And this project was Valentine's theme, and Yak wanted us to hear him express his feelings, okay? While letting the public know that he had ended his feud with Lil Wayne, featuring him on the song Codeine Dreaming. Number three, Dying to Live. It was released on December 18th, 2018, and it went platinum on November 13th, 2020. When I think of this album, I think of that sneak preview of Zeke that he dropped in the studio with Travis Scott doing that little dance that set the internet on fire. Let me know in the comments. Did the full version featuring Offset from the Migos eat? I heard mixed reviews, but I loved it. He got in deep on this project too with testimony and calling my spirits, giving us a visual of his troubled childhood as a project baby and how it has inspired the world, calling himself, quote, God sent. Number two, Painting Pictures. It was released on March 31st, 2017, and it went platinum on November 13th, 2019. Now, I love this album because it has one of my favorite Yak songs, Patty Cake, and honorable mention, Tunnel Vision. And we cannot roll in peace without number one, Project Baby 2. It was released on August 18th, 2017, and it went platinum December 4th, 2018. And this album was a heavyweight, and I can see why. The lineup is crazy with Transporting and Rolling Peace alone. And remember, this list is not an opinion. It is based on album sales in the United States. Facts, courtesy of the RIAA. Although my favorite Yak song was not featured, I'm going to mention it anyways. Today off of Lil Big Pac is gas. You know, just listen to it. What artists would you like to see in the top five next week? Jump in the comments and tell us. Either way, I'm Tamara, and this has been another top five on Trick Daddies. I got my pot. Yo, welcome back to another episode of I Got My Pot. As y'all can see, I got a, I got three, four pots on at one time. That's all it's about. It's all about staying motivated. Keeping something going on in life. You gotta always have something going on. God damn, they got them bacon green. You fuck around and pop on me again. Y'all wanna figure out, y'all try to figure out what that is right there. That's homemade. What I'm making right now is homemade mashed potato with lobster. Everything popping, got everything. I'm glad I got this, got this shit under control for my next guest coming here. God damn. And let me tell y'all, stay motivated, people. Stay motivated, man. If somebody from your neighborhood, from your town, is doing something positive, stay motivated. My next guest was motivated before he even knew he was motivated. Nigga grew up in the same neighborhood as Michael Jackson. How lucky could you be? Do his thing. Don't run in clicks. A young entrepreneur, y'all give it up to. CJ so cool. And the crowd goes crazy. What they do, nephew? As soon What's as I on? came on, the grease started popping. You already yeah, know I'm yeah, popping. I'm a, I, hey, yeah, they already tell me. So what's got? going on? CJ, how you, you grew up? Born and raised in Gary, Indiana. That's true, man. Gary, Indiana, where I don't, I don't think anybody wants to be from there, honestly. But Michael Jackson is from there. I'm from there, and uh, it's a real hard place to grow up in. Michael Jackson is one of the most legendary person in the world. Exactly. He has a lot of substance, man. He got that all from Gary, Indiana. Everything he got. What you got right there, though? You got some. I shrimp. got these real bad. So what I'm gonna make, what I'm making for you is. Miami style. So Miami this, style. So this is mashed potato. Okay. It's ma homemade mashed potato. But we ain't at home. But <laughs> whatever you say, when you say homemade, it, it's like not no instant potato, nothing in the box. Okay. Okay. So you nothing. just making everything from scratch. Everything. This is crazy, man. So I'm gonna put lobster in it too. Okay. So usually I didn't eat lobster. You know, my last relationship. I was uh, introduced to a new way of living and we didn't eat seafood. So my new girl, so how long, okay, she got see. me eating scrimp, 
mermaid, shrimp, everything. And I'm like, this is all new to me, right? You brought me on your show and I can't even cook. Did you so know that? My, my, okay, so my, the thing is about the cooking show. Everybody was like, why don't you let the artists cook? Wow. Maybe one day I will. So you've never let no one cook? I thought it was just because I couldn't cook that you well, just my nephew, had me standing here. My nephew, thought you was Uncle man. Trick, teach me how to cook. But anyway, I wanted to tell you some things and ask you some questions because a lot's been going on in my life. I'm not used to it. And you know, like I did say, you are OG. Right. You've been through a lot and you from Miami. I'm sure you've seen a lot. And uh, I was just, you know, I need some advice. Like how do I continue to go forward and stay motivated when some of the same people I'm trying to motivate are envious and want to, you know, attack me and cause harm on my life? Like, what do I do? They, well, you have to come to Miami as much as possible get away from that other atmosphere? You gotta remember that there's, there's evil people all over the world. True. If they ain't plotting on you, ain't talking about you, you ain't doing something right. Okay. So the more hate I get, the better I'm doing. The better you're doing. You just uh -oh. gotta, first of all, you don't hang with clicks. That's true. You're doing your own thing. That's true. You're, you're a young entrepreneur, bro. A lot of negative people, they don't like that. Mm. They want you to be negative with them. Being a crew. And but just know this, as long as you anywhere in Miami, anywhere in South Florida, anywhere in the state of Florida, anywhere where I'm at, you Gucci. Okay. You Gucci and you Louis. Gucci Ain't nobody gonna Louis. with you. Wow. And All you can right, tell man. them I said that. I like that. Matter of fact, I am gonna tell them you said that. I can't wait to tell my YouTube. So, what about Vegas? You can have you can have me in on uh, uh, Lock in Vegas. I, I, you don't got the pool out there? No, I don't got no pool out there. So I just gotta move, basically. You need to come on down, man. I got you. Yeah, because they was trying to fry me like that steak right there, man. It was crazy. They, they broke they, in my house. While you were there? While I was in there sleeping. Well, that, down there, that's down here. It's called home invasion. That's what it was out there. Yeah. A burglar of occupied dwelling. So they did a home invasion on me. Like you said, I'm a positive influence, a father. I don't. How many kids you got? I have three. Three kids. I have kids. twins, and I have an oldest daughter. So, and she still lives where Michael Jackson's from, so you know. She kind of got a heart. She be all in the streets with it. She be telling me, Dad, I got to go outside. I'm outside. Her huh? mama always outside. But then, I mean, you got, you got, that's a good thing. Try not to have no more kids. Let me tell you that now. I'm trying not to. My girlfriend currently thought she was pregnant. Had to take a test. She gave me one of those fake tests at Clear B. Can't believe it. Took a fake pregnancy test. Said she was pregnant. Tricked me. Just for April Fools. Damn. That's crazy, right? But man, yeah, so. Yeah, man, but it, it, it's up, but it's just so happy. That's what kind of world we living in now. There's no more loving that neighbor. There's wait till the neighbor leaves so we can yeah. break in his house. Wow. There's run the husband name and see if he's a sexual predator or see if he got a drug conviction. It's, they gotta be doing something illegal over there. Wow. There's no more watch my house, watch my dog. Yeah. And you, as long as you know that, you gotta just put yourself in a, a safer situation. And it's sad now because for you, you never proclaimed to be a thug, a drug dealer, a street in no type of way. But those same dudes who tried to rob you, that the same people that disrespected your house and and your family endangered your life and your family. Had you pressed charges on them and put them in jail, they'd be calling you a rat. Yeah, true. That's not a rat. No. A rat, if me and you agree yeah. to do some shit together, I get caught, you don't, I tell them about you, that's rat. Yeah. Know yourself, people. Y'all try to impress the culture. And the culture calling the police as soon as something happens. Your coach will call the police right on your ass. Yeah. So yeah, the people actually got caught. You. That's the good thing. They got caught. Uh, it was five of them. They got caught mm -hmm. leaving your house? No, they got caught 12 days later because they kept breaking in people's houses. Fingerprints and all type and of evidence. They left a video. cell phone. How you leave a cell phone, man? Crazy. But I'm glad they did all that, everything. Are they from that area? They from Cali. Oh. They came from Cali to Vegas. And it was also real GTA shit. Like they really tried, but you know, I'm from Gary, Indiana. It's hard out there too. Did, they, did they get anything? No, I fought them. It was like a real freaking movie, like a fight. Like how me and you right here, they break in my house. I'm still asleep. They all in the house. 
I don't even know. I ain't had no alarm. Cause I'm so naive and I live in this rich neighborhood, guard gated community, billionaires everywhere, millionaires everywhere. And they, they just scaled up the mountain. So they on some real GTA shit. Break in, I'm still asleep. They kick my door in. That's when I wake up. I'm in the bed, literally butt naked, sleep. I just wake up like, what the hell? I'm thinking it's the police, a raid or some weird shit. And then I'm thinking, well, why would the police be in here? And then they like, oh, what's up, what's up? I'm like, okay, this is something else. I literally started grabbing them and they just started shooting me. They shot me in both my legs. Yeah, I got shot in January, January 12th. I'm here right here. I'm feeling blessed. It seems like Man, things are on the up and up you too. You are blessed with all the things you do. Yeah. God look out for babies and fools. Everybody else are on their own. Wow. The reason why you're still standing here because you're a positive person. You do positive things. You're making a living for your family. And a hater can't win when it comes to people like that. That's why I still do what I do. Yeah. Haters have no power over real people, man. Always remember that. Thank you, man. Damn, we get all that. Yeah, but you ain't gotta worry about that shit down here. Cause you got it. I got you. And you got a restaurant and I like to eat and I'm gonna be pulling up on Sundays and Mondays and it's called Sundays. It's called Sundays. We it club is open every day except Tuesday. I thought you was gonna say Sunday. No, no, you better not say Sunday. No, it's called Sunday. It's open every day but Tuesday. Now, why do restaurants have an off day? Because Chick-fil-A do that. They off on Sunday. Okay, so Chick-fil-A got a lot of requirements. Yeah. <laughs> I know one of them is you. <laughs> I ain't gonna see it. <laughs> I ain't gonna see it. Y'all thought I was gonna see it, huh? You say it a lot, Trick. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of going viral. You always viral, man. You I'm, crazy. Not, I'm not gonna say it. I wanna say it. He might as well say it. In the comment section, shit, he have said it. We know what they're gonna say. They're gonna say why he ain't say it. They probably but, gonna say but it. But what, what restaurants do, they have to, they have to restock. They have oh. to do geek cleaning, especially in Florida. The hardest thing to do is to pass any type of inspection because we don't play when it comes to our restaurants. Like you got wow. to be up on your shit, and that's what we. And that's what is a. That's why you have to close down. Wow. So a deep cleaning, cleaning day. That's and we cook. Man. You know, we cook fresh food every day. We are dealing with seafood. You know, wow. chickens can't be with the egg, and wow. the, like the butter can't be with this. It's wow. like it, it, there's there's different rules to kitchen. So those are the main reason why. So how did you get into this? Cause you look like you know what you're doing. This ain't fake. My mama got eight. How many children your mama got? My mama has five. My mama got 11. Wow. Yeah. You had to cook. Yeah. My sister had five. Are you the oldest? My sister had five when she was 21. Some of them were twins? Nail triplets? Twin. Nail twin. Wow. You the oldest? No, I'm the, actually I'm the second oldest. That's me, I'm the second oldest. My sister older than me. Let me ask you, let me, let me, let me ask you some things. And, and, Cause I always gotta ask you this okay. before we go to uh, commercial. I'm gonna ask you this. Gary, Indiana. Yeah. Do sugar go in grits? The way you said it, I'm just gonna say no. Okay. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay, I, you can just tell. The way he asked that question, I better not say yeah. So, okay. But I know somebody so, from Gary that put cheese and sugar in their grits. You better my watch My baby this. mama. I was just gonna say you watch better her. watch. You better oh, watch it. I knew I couldn't trust my baby mama, man. You better watch it. No, I baby, that. baby. I, 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 PRP I, I, gonna I, kill us in the comments. We can't do her like that. Okay, her, her, no, no, no. her whole gang gonna come in this video. And shout out to my baby mama. I wish you get well real soon, Keisha. Shout out to my my other baby mama, Jackie. How many baby mamas you got? I got two baby mamas. Damn, we the same. Ain't both my baby mama, mama. Both my baby mamas love me. Well, one of my baby mamas love me. I know that for sure. I don't know about the other one. I don't even want to talk about her. <laughs> don't talk. Nah, I'm going to be like the Chick-fil-A. Nah, I ain't going to. Not going to elaborate. Don't elaborate. Don't you go there. Okay. One last question. OK. OK. And Gary, uh, so so first, and Gary, anyway, your children call your mama what? My children call their mama? You call your mama, their grandma. What they call her, Nana? Uh, well. Grandma. She called her Tutu. Tutu. They, okay. they have. They, they always some nickname that they give them. Yeah. Okay. I call my great grandma Gigi, and I okay, call my so. grandma Mom because she raised me. So down here we call our mama Old Girl. Oh, girl. Yeah, that's my old girl. Wow. The daddy is Old Boy. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. That so, sounds appropriate for my dad. Old boy. So a certain thing. I got to teach you these things down here, so you don't think. Okay. So for instance, 
in Gary, Indiana, if your baby mama called and say, I'm coming over, me and my girlfriend finna stop by, you think it's her and who? Her friends. In Miami, if you and that girlfriend coming by, you finna have a threesome. Oh. You see what I'm saying? Girlfriend <laughs> mean girlfriend. Oh, he really mean that. I said that to say this. Now, here's my question. Your mama, they say your mama, your mom, you're the second oldest. Yeah. Who is the youngest? Uh, my little brother, James. Who is the next youngest? My little sister. What is she in the, out of your mama kids? Mm. I'm teaching you this down south shit right now. Yeah, I don't know if we have south. those terms, man. She is the knee baby. The knee baby? Yes. Oh, so like hump day on Wednesday, it has to be something. So what it's am true. I? What are you? Well, we the second oldest. We just, we don't get no cool now. No, we don't get nothing. We just like, we just like a <laughs> old father thing. <laughs> and y'all keep it locked. We'll be right back. The I got my box. Yes, sir. I got my box. Yo, welcome back to another episode of I Got My Pops. Chop it up with my nephew. You no. Know, y'all stop hating on a young black man. Y'all see him out there trying to do something with himself, man. Y'all leave him alone. I'm glad I'm from a different era. I'm from an era when the, the women and the kids was off limit. And the hardworking people, you did not disrespect them, rob them home invade them or hate on them. I grew up in the era where your mama made you go outside and play. Where you drunk water out the water hose. Where you went to church whether or not you had something to wear or not. Where if you didn't take care of your hair, it was peasy, they comb that motherfucker from the back. And pull the comb all the way through. I came from that era. I came from the era of the next guest. Somebody want to get a, my, I'm gonna give them their flowers right now while they alive. Came from an era where the music and the movie scene was a chance of a lifetime. Something that you can remember for the rest of your life. Something you believe in, something that you cherish and honor. When, I, this is the era of the Kumo D's and the Run DMC and Salt and Pepper and LL, where everybody had their thing, what they did. Y'all give it up for the legendary kid and play right now, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, man, hey, 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 I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys. Bring it in! Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Thank you, hey, man, thank y'all for everything that y'all did what? for yeah. the culture. Okay. On behalf of East Coast, New York, Y'all Philly, all season. of that, we give that right back That's to right. you. But the first that. movie that I consider a urban funny movie was House Party. Okay. You may come, you may go on. <laughs> but I'm sure you have some of your own, though. Just no, 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 no. The first mm -hmm. one was House Party. Mm -hmm. yeah. my, some of my favorites are, you know, Harlem Nights mm -hmm. and yeah. The mm -hmm. Color Purple. Yes, sir. Boys in the hood, and I like. But house party friends. was fun. House party was fun. Was fun. No, became, nobody died fun. in house party. Well, nobody died. People, that became a lot of people's coolie high. In our era, the movie was coolie high. Right. right. But house party provided for a new generation yeah, an experience of what black high people were going through. Days. Exactly. You know. That's what's up. Speaking of a party. <laughs> yeah, well, we got to go over here. This is a kitchen party. Yeah. <laughs> I got this teriyaki steak going on over here, right? Teriyaki. Teriyaki steak. Teriyaki. <laughs> we got to go to my mom. What the 305? Got the, no. We got the greens up in there. We got here. the greens, yeah. We got some starch. I got some carbs. Yeah. 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 Right. And I checked to see you guys ain't. Can I, can I ask? Because. I think it's it's something that a lot of people don't know that a lot of a lot of us entertainers have different passions, and obviously your passion is is, is, is cooking and being able. How, how did that come about? I'm I'm curious. When I think Trick Daddy, no disrespect, I didn't think teriyaki. You would think of like you would think of like when you say Trick Daddy, you think of like a John. <laughs> no, like I, how much? No, let me tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I don't know if you remember this. But you know, you know, I used to roll with, with Mel B and all, all them oh, cats. Oh, Lord have so mercy. I, I see don't, you, don't go there. Please the, don't go there. And, um, and all them yeah. cats, right? So I remember I seen you in the club one time. I think you, you, nah, you wasn't performing, but you was just in there. 
and you had something that something was on with, with you on your hand. Right. Like, I don't know what happened, but <laughs> never done. Like he's not gonna share. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sharing is caring. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're, Another time. We're trying to prop you. Uh, we, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do that on. I got the box unlocked. But listen, man, I'm, 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 yeah, but, I, yeah, I, but how do we do, I, I never knew how, how you got into it. I, I, I never had a, to I never had a baby. I know what was going on. <laughs> no, that all, right. I never That's had a babysitter. Me. Okay. Never had a babysitter. Mm -hmm. Grew up in a house where we were raised our world, fed food, step and wick. So in that era, the parents felt like if there was something there for you to eat, I don't want you to be sad about you hungry. Mm. So you we you had know. to make do. Well, in our area, it was government cheese, but anyway, guys. Hey. Mm. So it was like, Mom, hungry, boy, there's something there to go eat, and, and you start from there. You, my my first meal I ever cooked was a fried bologna sandwich. Right oh, so hey, 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 can we please have it? a you moment of silence? Well, I, so so I didn't like the hump coming up in it, so I would split it. I'm glad you said that. That's one of my first worst mm. ass whoopers. Hold on, whoa. But well, can I do something here? Can I do a little bit? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, we're going to eat. <laughs> no, I, was, I thought we were going to help and learn something. No, 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 no. I don't need, he said he don't need to. If you wait, ain't, wait, he said. If you ain't learned how to cook all this damn time. No, you, you want to. Oh, you, I can, I can, I can look, do a little something. You want to, you want to, you want to, you want to take over a trick kitchen. He be like, hm, 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 shut up. Bum, 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 bum. You want to keep this kitchen? Shut up. <laughs> what do y'all got going on now? Um, living life, man. Enjoying the fruits of our labor. Word. You know? I got uh, a, I got a brand new hip. How about that? Mm -hmm. Hey! You had hip surgery? I did. I, did, I never knew that, man. Listen, listen. I had the hip surgery. My this right is fresh. This news is fresh. This, this is brand new. Brand yeah, new. yeah. And then you know what happened? It went successful and I woke up out of, out of my, the anesthesia and my girl was there with the camera. She said, how you feel? I said, a hip hop, a hip hip, a hip hip, a hip, 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 hip hop, and you don't stop. Rock to the bang, bang, buggy, say up, jump, the buggy, cause I got a brand new hip. Hey. Bum, bum, <laughs> bum, bum, <laughs> bum, bum. Hey man, I, like, I, like, hey, lady, I appreciate y'all. I seen the house party movie. I'm not, I'm not gonna say nothing. Which what one? was it? It wasn't y'all. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure we can concur. I, it wasn't y'all. Yeah. yeah, it was nothing it like it. But it, it was it was for the no, younger generation. No, it wasn't. I mean, well, how how we? It, it's not uh -uh. for us to say. Like, uh -uh. You know, He's no, he's no. Kids trying to be diplomatic nope. about it. My thing is, it should have been called something else. You know what I'm saying? Don't you can't. Yeah. You, you <laughs> with coming to America, then you turn around to with house party. Now you talking about doing a Scarface? Really? They really? Well, I know they did a white man can't jump. Either that's out or they weren't. Or they had been working yeah, on it or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's... They gotta stop. They have to stop. What you would just leave the class. Even if y'all would have did a high school reunion mm -hmm. or a college reunion. Mm -hmm. It would have made more sense. I Something agree. trick daddy and kid and play. Love the kids. <laughs> yeah. Love anything. <laughs> what we gonna do right now, we gonna eat. Okay. We gonna eat right now, man. Like right. I said, I wanna give y'all y'all flowers while y'all are living, while y'all are here. Hey. Over there, what's CJ at? CJ! CJ! We're gonna uh, eat right now. Let me go watch the hair. All right, before we hold eat, on, hold on, on. <laughs> he ain't got his mic on. Brother, put his mic Hey, this is great B roll. You wanna get this? Yeah, keep it rolling. <laughs> yeah, uh uh, this one's gonna get all in the plate. <laughs> Look good, look good. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Mm. Yeah. What? <laughs> what, I gotta Everybody. eat half of your asparagus? <laughs> it's good. Oh, hell no. This, this, I'm fitting to tear up into this. Brum, brum. Brum, brum. Brum, brum. All right. At the same time. Frosty. <laughs> Somebody kind of frosty. Well, they call me CJ So Cool. I gotta stay on ice. You on, yeah. You, know? you on Santa Claus, man. This looks way different. Did you add some stuff since I've been Oh, yeah. He's he putting oh, it down. Crazy.
teriyaki. See, mm -hmm. you, you eat, well, I got asparagus. Come on. I got bacon in that mashed potato. No, I'm good. <laughs> he don't know I don't eat pork. You don't eat pork? Well, my uh, my ex sheep did that too. No pork and no shrimp. Oh well, we, you don't get no mashed potatoes. Either? I'm gonna get some though. No. And then uh, what? Well, and then what you be, being wild? Then oh, what okay. you told her? You said I don't need no fish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't say that. But yeah. you told me I'm slipping and talking about I need to go. You got listen. Oh, huh? For us to stop eating fish, I think it's it it, it don't hurt her. I what? I'm a pleaser. I'm a pleaser. If you don't like your fish ate, then I'm hurt. <laughs> like, you know, hold up. So what do you call it? Lean like, in. This is teriyaki T W D. Didn't understand it. Teriyaki T W D. Right. Right. I believe so. Right. Lean she in. might go somewhere else. <laughs> it's my dog kid birthday. Oh, yeah, man. Are you Aries? Yes, sir. Just like me. Kid. <laughs> March 29th. Man, we want to give you your flowers on, while here, you chair. here. Hey, 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 hey. Watch your well, man, come on, come on. Bring it up. How you gonna bring out the cake before we eat the <laughs> goddamn food? <laughs> man, we got to bring the cake out. Come on, y'all. Happy birthday to you. Hey. Happy birthday to you. 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 Let's eat. <laughs> Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Hey, much love to you, man. Just you know what's up. Happy man. Hey, 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 thank you. Hey, kid, happy something fifth. Oh man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm getting up there. <laughs> get on up. I don't. I, I don't want to. I wouldn't dare ask you your birthday. Oh because, no, no. I'm because cool. I will ask you your age because. Nah, They'll I'm be trying to calculate my damn age. That ain't your business. <laughs> oh, I let them know. I'm 59 and I'm fine as wine. Older than hip hop. Exactly. <laughs> older yeah. than hip hop. Hip hop ain't nothing but 50. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hip hop ain't nothing but fifty. Hey, well, before we start, y'all, one of y'all got to say the prayer. I'm good. Oh, so we're gonna hold this the hero. All right, all right, for the hero. Right. Right. That's it. So one of you gonna say a prayer? You got a trick when you want me to do it. Let play say it. You ready? Father God, in the name of Jesus, the living Christ, thank you for this fellowship. Thank you for this host. Thank you for this man. Thank you for his spirit. Thank you for his, saving his soul. Bless this food. It can be contagious to bless each and every one of us. We thank you so very much for the opportunity and the grace and the mercy and the generosity to speak your name. In Christ Jesus, amen. amen. Hold it, man. Somebody get out and got that offering <laughs> plate, man. <laughs> the hell is this nigga just did, man? That's all right, man. Burn, 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 burn. Yes, niggas, I'm burn, right. burn. The hell? Well, you, you gotta bring the band out after that one. Yeah. Burn, 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 burn. Man, that's incredible, man. Cool. Hey, so kid, how did you get to do? I heard you did the the theme song for Bill Maher. How okay. you do that? Because I uh, you know he's a, he's a right. friend of okay, mine. Cool. Right. And um, you know he was he was moving his show from um, ABC to HBO, and uh, he played me his theme song, and I thought it was whack. So I said, look, let me and my guys get a chance. Wow. And um, so we did that. But back in the days, we also did uh, the Martin theme too. What? The Wacky. Martin. That was you saying? Martin. Yeah, long story, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, we definitely, uh, yeah, the, the, the Bill Maher joint was was cool. Like, a lot of times, you know, you know how it goes. A lot of times, these things evolve out of out of the friendships that you oh, have. And that I'm you glad you're my friend, <laughs> <laughs> I want to start I'm glad you're my friend. Look, I used to see you in the Rolex, <laughs> in the Coco's <laughs> Lounge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all know, them were my thug days. Oh, he was man. I'm was, not black flagging no more. He was a bad man with jammer back in there, man. That's so dope. I hate it. I take it off when I get off the stage. Wow. As soon as you off stage, it's off. There's been a lot of shit. He'll tell you. Yes, He'll tell you. Man. How's the food taste? Man, excellent. The food is flavorful. You know what? Uh, compliments to the chef. Your food is bum bum. <laughs> 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 For some reason, I feel like this is stuck in my head. I'm just going to do that later on. Oh, man. 
no matter what you're doing in life, if you want to remain focused, Bro. you want to remain humble so you can hang out with people like us one day. And you do it right, and you respect your people, and you show love to your family, you'll become legendary. Without that, you ain't got nothing. You people make us who we is. Thank y'all. If you're ever in Miami, you want something to eat, go to Sunday's Eatery, located in Miami Gardens, and remember one thing. I got my parts. Hey! Uh, dun, dun. Like, share, and subscribe, baby. And don't forget to comment who sent you here. If you came with my page, you better say something. You got my parts. Hey, this is a part of the show. Y'all already know what we do. I got some hometown people with me today. She's straight from Liberty City. I got a big time player doing big time things and big time games. What's up, Queen K? You ready? What's well, it? You already know what's up. I stay ready. You stay ready? Yeah. So what you gonna do? Gimme, give gimme. Give my new single that just dropped last Friday. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Don't be. Now, I ain't got time for the love now, but I think I need a few bust downs. He wanna hit it, he got the queen on his wish list. Back to the bone and I'm gifted. I'm too expensive, and I'll be slaying these inches. Sway, sway, hair be lay. I'm just saying, all day I'm gon' slay. If you ain't got no bread, ain't getting that money, then you won't be calling me bae unless you give me, give me Fendi, Fendi, Gucci, Gucci, spend it on me, don't be Fendi.